Hey guys, it's me Sam and today as you may have noticed from the title, I am doing one of my infamous monthly favourites vlogs. So of course I'm going to be talking to you about all the things that I've liked throughout the month of September. A little late in doing these, I've noticed quite a lot of people have already done theirs and uploaded them. But as we all know, I only came back last week so I've got some catching up to do. But one of the requests that I had from one of my long-term subscribers, Claire, was that she would like to see me doing my monthly favourites again. So here I am, in all my glory. And once again, we are indeed joined by the face. For those of you who have never seen my monthly favourites, I'd like to discuss 15 products, items, anything that I have liked throughout the month of September. So let's begin with number one, which was what was my favourite nail varnish to wear in September. And it's this. It's this. Yes, yeah, this. It's from Rommel. It's part of their I Love Lasting Finish range. And this is in the shade. Can't remember. Why can't it tell me? The High Hill Life. As you can see, it's a very vibrant purple shade. I like bright colours on my nails. I mean, sometimes if I am trying to be a little bit more sophisticated, and I do emphasise the word try, um, then I will go for more neutral shades, for example, what I've got on my nails this week. So I enjoyed wearing that colour because it was very vibrant, very bright, very long-lasting. And most of all, I like the colour. And, and just in case you are wondering what, it is that I'm wearing on my nails this week. Uh, it's this one here from a company called Nails Inc. You probably all heard of them. It was part of a set that I had for Christmas. I think it was last year or the year before from the ex's parents. Not a lot left of it, unfortunately, because I do like that shade. But that's what it is. And that is in the shade. If I can read it. No, I can't read it. At number two, what was my favourite hair product to use throughout September? Now, as you can all see, the air is indeed starting to grow back, which makes me very, very happy. In case you didn't know, I made a stupid mistake of having my hair cut last year. My hair used to be really, really long, and uh, I wanted something different. So I went and had an angled bob done. And basically, they ruined my hair. It was terrible. And it's taken forever to grow back to any kind of length. And it's still quite short at the back. It's much shorter. It's still in an angled kind of shape. But I've got to grow it out, unfortunately. But the one product that I have enjoyed using on my hair is this texturizing hairspray from Schwarzkopf. It is there got to be made for mess texturizing hairspray this stuff is the shit it's like want to make sure your hair stays in place use this although i love having long hair i do tend to wear my hair up a lot especially in the office and it's, it's basically just to keep it out of the way otherwise it just does me brain in pocket basically and when you're wearing headsets uh, it just you don't want to do too anything too fancy because it, it's just going to end up getting ruined by the end of the day. So sometimes I do like to plait it and put it like into a side plait, and because my hair's shorter here than it is here, then I have to wear, use quite a bit of hairspray just to keep it all in place, make sure it doesn't all fall out. Uh, there's also times when I like to back comb this bit and put my hair like up. So this hairspray ensures that it stays in place. And um, yeah, you're probably wondering what the sticker is on it. I didn't actually buy this. My daughter picked it up for me. She found it in boots in a reduced bit for 50 pence. And she was just like, I know that my mum likes this hairspray, so I'm going to buy it as a treat. Right, number three. What was my favourite handbag to use in September? It was this handbag. I absolutely love this handbag and I am so, so glad I chose to buy it. Because at one point, I wasn't going to do so. It is this brown 
bag here and uh, I found this believe it or not in Asda it's part of the George range and it cost me £16 and as much as I love my handbags I did them when I was back so I was like can I justify spending £16 on a handbag and I was like yes yes you can in case you don't know I have a handbag fetish I must have at least oh 25 30 handbags in total maybe even more but include small bags and clutches and yeah let's not even go there guys but i just had to have this bag i just fell in love with the design the style of it the fact it's got pockets on the side there turn it around you've got some more pockets on the side there so you know you've got easy access to for example I, mean, I, I like to keep my keys in there so when I get home you know fumbling around trying to find them in my handbag just dip my hand into that pocket and I can find them it's also a good place for me to keep my paper in so that's nice and safe and then inside the actual bag itself there's a little pocket for me to put my phone into there's another inside pocket where I can keep whatever but it's nice and deep it's Big enough for me to carry my essentials around, uh, my lunch, my water bottle, my smoothie jar, whatever it is I'm taking to work with me that day. This am bag is perfect. And I just wanted it because I thought it would be a nice bag to use throughout autumn and into winter and basically whenever else I want to. Okay, we have now reached number four. And that was my favourite shoes to wear in September. The most shoes, the trainers, pumps, whatever you want to call them, but it's these. I found these in Primark about July time and I only paid a fiver for them because they were reduced. And um, I just I just loved the metallic shade. That I think it's like a, it's not a pink, it's not rose gold. It's more like a, I don't know what shade it is, but I just I loved them. So they had to come home with me. And for five cat pounds, how could I possibly say no? The only downside to them is that they are a size five. And I'm only a size four. So I do tend to have to wear thickish socks if I'm wearing them. But I couldn't say no to these. Really comfy. And they're just all right for dotting about in, basically. At number five, what was my favourite accessory to wear in? September and I, I always tend to keep a pair of these in my bag no matter what because info it is now autumn or fall whatever it is you like to call it um the sun's still quite shiny especially in the mornings and when you're walking to work you don't want to be squinting um so I always like to keep a pair of sunglasses and the one pair of sunglasses I mean I bought these back at the beginning of June and I fell in love with these. I just had to have them. And it's these sunglasses that I found in Primark. I just adore these. I think I paid £2.50 for them. It's a total bargain. But I love the fact that, obviously, the mirrors. So, yeah, that's me. You can see. <laughs> and, um... I just, I just love the design, they're very kind of like 50s, so very retro, obviously as you can see, they, they suit one to a T, and yeah, these were my favourite accessories. Now at number six, it is what was my favourite clothing item to wear in September, and I did wear this in July as well, in fact I found it in Primark, I think it was the beginning of July, end of June anyway, um, it's this pink coat i think i paid around 15 maybe 20 pounds for it but i fell in love with it it's got this beautiful bow detail on the sleeve there and i don't normally go for pink it's just not me i'm more of a black kind of clothing person because of my gothic tendencies and so i am trying to kill that off now i'm, I'm obviously trying to choose color into my life now and um, as I said, I came across 
this coat and it was another problem where once again I was like oh god can I justify buying that and then I was like if I don't buy this now next time I come back here they're going to be all gone of my size I just know because as you all well as I mentioned I have sort of like put some weight on not that you can't tell from the double chin can you guys but I am on a diet so I'm going to do everything I can to lose the weight it's it just has to be done guys but I just I love this and I'm kind of gutted now because obviously I mean I probably will try it and wear it a few more times before I can't but it's just perfect to wear in the summer and in, in the late spring months as well so as I said I'm going to try and get a few more wears out of it before I put it away for next year right and plump me bum back down uh, I love Sundays. I just love to sit around and do it absolutely well. Right, so let's move on to the next items I want to show you. And these are merging into makeup products that I have liked throughout September. And the first one I am going to begin with is number seven, which was what was my favourite foundation to wear. And it is this one from M. QA and it is their skin divine matte perfect foundation with vitamin A, E and J. Yo 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 If anyone knows how to pronounce that properly, please do correct me. But it's it's this one. I think I paid three, maybe four, maybe five pounds. I don't know. Can't remember. I've had it for a while. Well, I say a while, it's been a few months. And uh, I've got a variety foundations and I, I do like to swap and change now and then I don't like to use the same products all the time but this is just the one foundation that I kept finding myself using throughout September I don't know what was wrong with working at Logic but I did time to find and it was just it was even if I primed my face as well my foundation would literally melt off my face but this I found didn't it actually stuck to my face a treat and you know it's, it's not the best foundation in the world but i'm still happy with it it's um, it actually just stayed in its shine control in the front so maybe that's why it worked mm. i don't know if you can see but there's still quite a lot of the products left but the one thing that has pissed me off the most about this foundation even if I've enjoyed using it, it's the fact that the um, the pump stopped working. So I literally have to take it off from there. And I don't know, I don't know if the, the pipes cannot come off and it's failing. I don't know, but it, it's not working, guys. So I literally have to get my foundation brush and, and take it from there and then buff it onto the face. I'm trying to see if the straw, I don't, I don't know why has this happened. At number eight, it is, what should it be, what was my favourite blush. Now, when I say blushes, this can, this can include highlighters, this can enjoy, include contours. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be a highlighter and a contour. It's a duo and it's from Maybelline and it's their master sculpt contouring palette in light to medium because this obviously suits me trick i just find when it did come for a little brush as well that i refuse to use point blank full stop nice little mirror as well so you can obviously see what you're doing um but i bought this particular um, makeup brush where it's got like a jaw head on it so I can pick up both of the products and apply them at the same time at some point I'll have to show you this, this brush it's just absolutely brilliant but that is the contour and the highlights together and the reason why these were my favourites throughout September I have to admit this is one of my favourites full stop I love using this throughout the week because it's such a a natural contour shade obviously when I'm at work I don't really wear all that much makeup anymore there's no point there was no no one ever looking good for to be perfectly honest guys so 
I even I still like to have a little bit of contour and a little bit of highlight just to perk my features up if anything. Uh, and and these are the ones that I tend to go for. I just think it's amazing, especially the shimmer. I'm gonna do a quick swatch. Now I've put both the products on my hand, as you can see that's the contour shade there and just above it if you can make it out, that is the highlighter. Um, they're also on my fingers and the highlighter seems to be showing up more on my finger than it does actually on my hands. But as you can see, nice neutral, natural shades. I'm just going to buff that in a little bit more just to give you an idea of what the contour would look like but it's just it's just ideal for work i have no idea how much i pay for them i cannot remember um i've had them for a while now so not much else i can really tell you okay let's move on to number nine which was my favorite lip product now this is the only product i actually have got from mac and I've always, always wanted to use one of their lipsticks or to try the lipsticks out. I'm forever going in the store if I'm up in Birmingham. So I've managed to persuade myself to actually buy one of the lipsticks. And I thought, well, seeing as I do love my uh, red lipsticks, I might as well go for the MAC red. Why not? I love this shade. It is such a beautiful, beautiful shade. And I can't believe the lasting power of these lipsticks. Why did I not buy MAC lipsticks before? I do not know. Well, I do know. It's because they're not bloody cheap, are they? Simple as that. But I did it. I pushed the boat out and I bought that one. And at some point, I will more than likely buy others. Hmm, throat is going a little bit hoarse, I'm just having some tea. Oh, that's better. I've actually forgotten just how much doing vlogs actually dries your throat out. Anyway, let's move on to number 10, which was, what was my favourite mascara to use in September? And the only reason why this is my favourite is because I am, but I have been trying to use it because I just haven't used it very much at all since. I received it. It was part of a perfume, mascara, and eyeliner set from the Saint Laurent, and uh, it was it came as part of the um, a, a perfume set that I received. And uh, okay, well, well, this is the volume effect mascara. What can I say? It's it's, it's a mascara. It's, it's it's small. Got a slight floral kind of scent to it. And that's what the brush looks like, but it's just a nice little mascara to obviously add some volume to my my lashes because I, I don't really actually have lashes. They're very, very small, so I have to wear mascara full stop, otherwise I just look weird if I don't. But the one thing I like about this mascara the most is obviously the size, so I can pop this into my makeup bag, and even my mascara does need topping up throughout the day, then it's a win-win situation. Right now we've got the makeup stuff out of the way, now I can move on to products that I would obviously use on other areas of my body. So that kind of like helps because we're now going to move on to number 11 and that is what was my favourite body product to use and it was this hand cream from the body shop. It is their frosted cranberry hand cream which I pinched off my daughter and oh god the scent of this is just amazing and I keep this in my makeup bag which usually sits in my um, bag, um, and I, basically this, this stays with me full stop all the time so if my hands are feeling a little bit dry I can apply this oh, to the scans and undry them basically add some moisture mm. but I do love the scent of this and with the fact that you know we've got winter coming up and Christmas this is the perfect scent to go with those months 
Right, number 12. What was my favourite perfume or body spray to use throughout September? And weirdly enough, we, we have a scented body mist and we also have the up the toilet. And this is my poker scent, which you can find in Primark. The body mist itself costs £3. And this costs £2. And you can also buy the DP perfume, which is a beautiful bottle, and they cost £6. And I did have one of those until my daughter pinched it off me. So I just thought, <clears throat> I'll get one of these just to replace it. I can stick this in my handbag if, I want, if I'm wearing it throughout the day, top it up, the opposite coin, because it's one of those ones where, oh God, the scent's just gorgeous. Um, it's got a little roller on it, so you can just nee, nee, top it up, all good. I just love this scent. It's just gorgeous, and it's supposed to be a dupe for something. I can't remember what off the top of my head, but if you haven't tried this and you're looking for a cheap but pleasant perfume to use check these out i mean i've got quite a few of these perfumes from primark now and i have to admit i'm pretty impressed by them number 13 what was my favorite face product to use in september and it's going to probably be my favorite face product for the next upcoming months as well i used to wear eye creams all the time and then i fell out of love with them and i stopped wearing them but then I, I kind of like realised, you know what, Sam, you really should sort your eyes out because, you know, I, could, I was noticing really bad fine lines under my eyes and it just was not looking good. And I had crow's feet growing and it just, it was terrible. So I came across this from Olay and this is their anti-wrinkle firm and lift eye renewal gel with skin renewal complex. On the back, it claims to provide intense nourishment to delicate eye area, activates surface cell renewal, re-energizes outer, outer skin layers to re-energize skin appearance. Visible result, line, resingle, lines, wrinkles and puffiness reduce, visibly firmer and re-energized skin around the eye area. And do you know what? It's the tits, man. It worked like, oh my God, my eyes are just... Around this area here, I can't believe just how much better they look. And I've only been using it for about three weeks. Uh, I found it in Asda and I think I paid £6 for it. It may have been a little bit less. I don't care. It was worth the money. Okay, we are starting to get towards the end of my September favourites. I do hope my rambling hasn't bored you too much. And with that, let's move on to number 14, which was my favourite shower gel or bubble bath to use in September. Now, I can't show you this product because obviously I've used it. So what I'm going to do now is show you a picture of my most favourite product to use in the shower or bubble bath. And it's, it's not a shower gel and it's not bubble bath. It's a bath bomb. As you all know, I love Lush bath bombs. I'm addicted to them. I really ought to go back down there at some point and get some more, especially with their Halloween products out at the moment. And I know they're going to be selling the ones for Christmas as well. So I want to top up. But my favourite bath bomb that I used in September is this one. That's right, guys. It was the shoot for the stars bath bomb. Oh, my God. The scent was just utterly heavenly and I just loved how it left my skin feeling afterwards and I needed more in my life so if I do sell these at Christmas again I am buying more but lots more these are amazing and ah oh, I wish I'd bought more that's all I'm gonna say and finally we have reached number 15 and um I always like to include certain different types of products throughout my favourites. So this is obviously what was my favourite food or drink. And my most favourite food to eat throughout September since going back onto my diet. Avocados. I love them. We do indeed. Nice pear. 
I like to chop them up and stick them in salads. I like to mash them down and stick them in a bit of um, toast or cracker breads or whatever else. Sprinkle a bit of black pepper over the top and some salt. Oh my goodness. Mwah. Perfect. So avocados for the win. They are really good fats. So healthy, healthy, healthy. And that's it guys, that is my September favourites, those are all the things that I liked throughout the month of September and obviously we're now into October so I am going to start keeping my mindset on what I can show you at the end of this month in regards to what my favourite products use in October and oh, the one thing I love about October is the fact that it's Halloween guys so expect to see some Halloween-y things. Oh yes, alright that's me done and dusted and uh, I will be back at some point, in fact I will be back more than at one point because as you all know I've got myself a new job that I start on the 18th which I am very very much looking forward to and as you will all know I was working for Logic Frapes in case you're not sure, if, I mean you might have seen these in stores I don't know but these are the products that I love them. I do. They're just amazing. Absolutely amazing. When so, obviously I like using my normal mod here. And as you can see, there's the many juices that I have for that. But for this product here, which is the Logic Pro, you use the capsules. And we had a discount thing at Logic where you could uh, have three lots of Logic capsules every week for free. So as you can see, I'm very much stocked up, guys. For quite some time. So it slightly went off topic there, but I just had to show you those because I ain't going to be running up now, am I? Anyway, as I was saying, I was look, working at Logic Frapes and as our first day, just gone. I don't anymore. They've let me go. No longer required. Not the end of the world because it was a case of, well, we're all sat there twiddle on forms, doing absolutely nothing. So they've agreed to let us all go. They'll be paying us up until the end of the month. So, you know, we'll be all right money wise. But uh, that's it. I am now, in a way, on a holiday for the next 11 days. I'm already counting down to when I start work in a new job. But um, I thought, you know, while I've got the opportunity, I can uh, take that little window to do some vlogs for you guys and try and get some of these requests that I've been asked to do done. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for me, guys, because I'm going to be back before you know it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, please do leave a comment down below to let me know your thoughts. If you've got any suggestions yourself, if there's any products you would like to see me review for you. And uh, don't forget to give the thumbs up as well. And until I come back, you take care. And I'm gone. Bye for now.